Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today, I'm sitting down with Rob Weingart. He's the uh, he's the staff expert here at Old Friends Wine. Both of us are co-owners of the uh, of the business. Um, today, I want to talk to you about Malbec and Zinfandel. Uh, these two wines are referenced quite a bit over on our website, which we have linked down below. Some of the most popular questions that we get over there have to do with has to do with the difference between these two wines. Take a look at the article link below and you'll find out a lot more. But to make things a little bit easier for you, let's just ask the expert himself. Rob, would you care to enlighten us on what the differences are between Malbec and Zinfandel? Hey Brian, thanks for the intro, man. Uh, these two grapes I think are grapes that are perfect sort of comparison places to kind of start from. Um, both of these grapes are going to be thicker skinned. Uh, flavor profiles are fairly different, um, but I, I really think what kind of distinguishes these two in terms of sort of the way that you might think about them, um, alcohol content and sort of like fruit characteristic. Uh, with, with Zinfandel, one of the things that I think is really interesting is we have seen that with Zinfandel, they will naturally ferment out farther than other grapes will. So uh, if you were to just let the yeast that's floating around in the air uh, ferment your grapes, you would wind up with a naturally fermented wine product. Most of those products will kind of top out around like 14 and a half, maybe 15 percent. Zinfandel, for whatever reason, will go as high as 17 percent, even with a natural fermentation. So something about those sugars just naturally wants to convert and kind of make alcohol. Um, Zin is related to an Italian grape called Primitivo. And Without being generalist, I would say that like it, it has a tendency to lean to sort of that like foody, smoky flavor profile. Uh, it's definitely a sweeter fruit characteristic without necessarily being super fruity. You'll hear people refer to Zen a lot as being jammy. More often than not, what they're actually talking about is sort of the mouth feel of that is the sort of like thick jammy like heavy mouth feel um, big fruit characteristics like blueberry and blackberry can definitely show up in it but i think the best examples of what we're seeing from zen these days are definitely shifting away from that uh, where with malbec malbec has definitely shifted its interest it has found a home in more moderate climates and cooler climates um, argentina is doing a lot of it in the high desert and you think well okay argentina cool climate how is that a thing what, what i mean is that you're seeing these daytime temperature swings where in the evening it cools way off and that sort of stops the ripening of the grape it sees lots of ripe days and then cool evenings uh, malbec is not nearly as tannic as merlot or uh, cabernet sauvignon so it's not nearly as bitter or as, as stringent to kind of begin with and so you have to be really careful about how you handle that grape it's a grape that really needs some structure and some backbone to it on some other side. And so Argentina has really found that its climactic conditions give exactly what we're looking for. Uh, Malbec is definitely going to be more in that like chocolatey, earthy, dusty flavor profile for it. Um, plum is definitely a big one that, that comes through there a lot. So, you know, if you have a favorite plum chocolate combo that you can think of, that's very much where Malbec is. Malbec is also really well known and sort of famous for it's this deep purple color. In fact, there's an Argentinian winery uh, that makes a, a reserve Malbec called Purple Angel that it's worth your time. If you've never had it before, definitely hunt it down. It ain't cheap, but it's a, it's, it's worth checking out and uh, seeing what it's all about. So uh, Zin and Malbec, two very different grapes uh, with a lot of the same sort of... Um, agenda ultimately they're both trying to kind of accomplish the same task and be wines that people want to drink and uh, really enjoy and settle back into so awesome thanks so much this guy knows way too much about wine um and i love it i love that about him uh thank you very much for your time on this again there is a, a more lengthy and kind of uh, written out version of this information, uh, which you can find linked to down in the description below. But before you do that, make sure to watch this coming up video that is going to be on your screen. It's all about the differences between the main kinds of wine that you're going to see in regular restaurants, 
You're going to see it in regular grocery stores. You don't have to go out of your way to find these things. Um, most people don't really know very much about them. And Rob is sharing his wealth of information on that video. Make sure to watch that. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.